Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update on Saturday, April 7th, 1214 AM, Mountain Time, 2018. You're looking at the second major eruption of Sinabung in the last two months, sending volcanic ash into the stratosphere 50,000 feet above the surface, 15 kilometers into the air. This is coming from Volcano YT. Thank you, Yuki. You can see this is an amazing eruption. Lots of debris, very high, long lasting. We'll get to it. Let's get on with the update. Heavy rain for the West Coast, severe thunderstorms possible in the South, turning colder in the Northeast. Periods of heavy rain are expected over portions of the West. Throughout Saturday, including California, Nevada, and the Great Basin, with several inches of rain in some areas. Meanwhile, several, severe thunderstorms and locally heavy rain are possible over much of the south. We Right now, we have severe weather warnings and thunderstorm warnings throughout southern Louisiana and Mississippi, including uh, flash flood warnings, freeze warnings, and watches all the way up through the Ohio Valley, all the way south down through Texas. Dozens of counties involved. Winter storm warnings and watches up in the region of Minnesota, North South Dakota, and Northern Montana. And this winter weather is going to be moving to the east. Let's look what's happening uh, on your Saturday afternoon. Snow is going to be moving through Kansas and Colorado, eastern Colorado, as well as through Ohio and western Pennsylvania. And you can see as it develops through Saturday night, a large snow band all the way up through the northeast. Focusing the heavy depths here in the Delmarva. Down here in central Virginia on the eastern seaboard should have eight inches by Saturday, uh, by Sunday morning. Let's just move it through. Second event coming across the northern tier, bringing covering snow all of Iowa, all of Minnesota, north and south Dakota in a wide swath of five to eight inches of snow. And then we have a large event coming through here next weekend. Still, the models are not agreeing. Had this area over Ontario the other day. Had this area a little south. But it looks like one to two feet of snow across the northern tier here next weekend. It is getting interesting. Three April storms are about to set cold weather records across the country. We just looked at the snow patterns. And it's going to continue into central, uh, the middle of April. We're talking about records here in Iowa. Cedar Rapids, a clear sky and diminishing winds allow temperatures to drop Friday night. Uh, and we'll be challenging a couple. will probably be broken. Cedar Rapids, Rapids records uh, low as 12. Dubuque, 11. Iowa City, 17. And Waterloo, 12. Looking at 2 to 4 inches of snow forecast through Sunday. Heads up, Iowa. Near record in cold snow this weekend. Here's the predictor. Cedar Rapids is in the center of it all. It's going to be a wintry weekend around the Midwest with cold near record cold and snow. First clouds move in and out tonight and temperatures drop into the teens Saturday morning. Some 40 to 80 year old records are in jeopardy. The afternoon won't be much warmer, but at least there will be sunshine and it will be calm before the storm Saturday afternoon. Then snow moves in Sunday, will become widespread across eastern Iowa, begins at 10 a.m. from west to east. Snow will be icy and heavy to start, becoming fluffier through the day, and will continue heavy at times. Snow will wind down late Monday morning. And that's a boom. Record cold temperature set, snow on the way. This is for Bismarck, North Dakota, with record low temperatures being recorded across the state, including two new records of two degrees in Bismarck. The Missouri River is responding with ice flows visible in the channel between Bismarck and Mandan on Friday afternoon. <coughs> the National Weather Service in Bismarck reported record low temperatures Friday morning in Bismarck, Williston, Minot and Dick Dickinson and some of our subs sent me in the uh, <laughs> the temperatures today. It is not warm there. On Friday in Bismarck, a record low of two degrees beat the low of three back in seventy nine. In Williston, a record of minus three beat the low of one in thirty six. And in Mi Minot, a record of minus one beat the low of one back in seventy nine. So it is cold, and the river's frozen in April. In Minot. 
Large Hail Hits North Texas. We thought it was a horror movie. Look at that. Whew. Jesus. We're talking broken windows everywhere. Broken roofs. Shattered dreams. <laughs> Heads up. That's a four-incher. That's not a four-incher. But that is a boom. Heads up. Large hail is just beginning. Scattered severe thunderstorms, including tornadoes, possible in the end of the, uh, the week in the southeast. Severe weather could continue. This is spinning clouds in Mississippi. Ominous. So we have the potential for deadly weather this weekend in the southeast. As you can see, the severe weather threat here. This is just hours ago. This will be moving slowly to the east. Heads up. Let's talk about Canada. It is not warm up there. Saskatoon weather outlook, minus 30 to minus 40. Wind chills, record cold hits. Earth's coldest temperature anomalies were recorded in Saskatchewan for the first week of April with the mercury dipping 10 to 20 degrees below normal across the province. Friday, April 6, 2018 was the coldest in recorded history in Saskatoon with the mercury plunging back to minus 24.4 degrees, breaking the previous record of minus 20 all the way back to 1920. So we're back here in 1920, down here in the solar minimum of 1516. <coughs> and we are now headed in the solar minimum of 2425. And cosmic ray flux is on the increase. Records are being broken. Snow depths in Swiss Alps past 7 meters. That's 23 feet of snow. Snow depths in the Alps have passed the 7 meter mark for what is believed to be the first time in many years. Snow reported by Engelberg so far. Winter season has hit 740 centimeters on Sunday, April 1st. That is a heads up. Thank you, Al Gore. Let's talk about corn prices. They could double. I'll leave you links to the commodities corner. With cosmic rays increasing, the volcanic activity increasing, Earthquake activity is increasing in the Indonesia area, which we predicted months ago to be occurring as we move forward, expecting several eight magnitude earthquakes in this region, as well as VEI-3 through seven Earth uh, eruptions. And we just showed you footage moments ago of Cinnabung erupting again for the second time this month in large ways, sending volcanic ash into the stratosphere for the second time in two months. Now, if this continues to happen every month, these particulates are going to build in the stratosphere and these are going to increase the cooling in a rapid fashion. If we have a VEI-5 or VEI-6 or VEI-7, game over. The year without a summer is amongst us. So go check out the eruption. I'll leave you links to it all. Volcanic uh, news update, we have Ducono, Reventador, Cinnabon, Aoba, as well as uh, reporting on yesterday, Sakura, Jima, Fuego, and Nevados de Chilan with only steam and gas erupting currently. But the Watchers has a great uh, article on the major eruption at Cinnabon yesterday. Uh, I'll leave you links to that so you can get all the latest footage and great pictures. Boom! 6.3 just popped off in Papua New Guinea as we uh, were just discussing the uptick in cosmic rays. We're going to be talking about it. There may be a tsunami associated with it. We'll watch that closely. <clears throat> it just happened seconds ago. That's not a very large magnitude, and there hasn't been tsunamis in that range, but we have a large seismic uptick here in the Indonesia region, proven by a 6.3 popping off while I'm speaking. At 10 kilometers, very shallow depth. Whew, 
So we'll leave that riding so we can check that in a second. Let's go quick to the Oulu Cosmic Gray Monitor. And you could see if we come down here to the complete monthly averages, this was the highest recorded Cosmic Gray Flux on Earth in modern history back here in 2009 and 10. And we're spiking back up again into that region. Expected for the next year to surpass that spike. And I'll leave you links to this o Olu Neutron Monitor is live. It gives you the last 24 hours, the last 30 days, and the running average back to 1965. Why am I giving you that? Because explosive volcanic eruptions are triggered by cosmic rays. And here's the paper back in June 2011 explaining it. So please don't ask me what the connection is. I'm giving it to you right now. This is the paper that came out in 2011. And this paper came out in February 2015 on the relationship between cosmic rays, solar activity, and powerful earthquakes. And that is a boom. So I'll leave you links to the full PDF here on this paper. <coughs> Real quick, we'll come to the full size combined sea ice thickness. April 5th, we could see that the current sea, Arctic sea ice volume is well in the decadal range. Nothing of, uh, beyond <laughs> out of the ordinary there. It is about to surpass in the next 10 or 14 days, I'm predicting. It will surpass 2015, and it is now 2,000 cubic kilometers above 2016 and 2017 levels after this rapid increase through March. Still going up, and now is well in the decadal average of 2004-2013. And the thickness is exceeding 5 meters in some areas, and is averaging four meters all the way across the Arctic. Heads up. <laughs> Man, there's so much disinformation out there. As the cosmic rays increase, these earthquakes and volcanic events are only going to increase over the next year and a half in big ways. Start preparing now. If you want to survive and thrive in the future, you should start to plant seeds this spring. Learn how to fail. That's how you become a farmer. Be safe, everybody.